No, I'll go back. I'm just watching Goddard do various Goddard things. Now, where to next? Well, we need to go right, and I didn't, so that would probably be the place we should go. It doesn't mean that I actually want to. Where does this take me? Or something? Yes. <laughs> cool. It's over there, anyways. So the place I was going looks like it had a loop back. Here on the map, it looks like this progresses for further, I guess? Yeah, and the place it loops back is probably where I want to be for the moment because I haven't found the place where you use your invention yet, and that would suggest it would be in a new place I haven't been yet, so if I want to see everything, I should stay in the part that loops back around for the moment. Uh, I don't really know how to approach this part. This feels like a one-way street. Maybe... Okay, I think I think I see what happens. I think we have to go around this way, and that'll be, bring me up along the top and then down on the other side of these crates here, is my best guess. Because those moving platforms definitely seem like a one-way route. But the question then is why you have that plank you can bounce off of to get, to get up there, but oh well. Huh. Well, I just now realized, of the three weapons we have, two of them actually have the same graph badge. I think they'd be a lot more distinct. Oh. Well, that was interesting. I wasn't sure what the preferred way to go was there. It was tucked away into the little... Okay, nice collisions. Gaps between the containers in the... I wonder if there's actually anywhere to go through there. What is... what's with this section? There we go, that's what's with it. They have shipped, uh, somewhere? Are there even any new places to go after this? To unlock? I have no idea. I wonder what happens if you try to complete this game out of order. Are you actually required to complete... Maybe you're required to collect all the nav chips to complete the game, I don't know and or you're required to actually complete all the preceding levels if we're going to the final one, maybe, or something like that? By the way, it's still weird. Hey, there's that, uh, obstacle course. It's still weird that you can just go to the next level. It's one- it would be one thing if this game was framed as going to a bunch of different levels in no particular order. You decide to go to one and then the other and whatever, so you could- it would make just as so much sense for you to do it in one order versus the other. And skipping around wouldn't be too weird. But here, like, there are cutscenes that indicate having gone one way versus the other, or having gone from one place to the next in a chronological order. So, giving you early access to different areas is very strange. Is there a purpose to this? It's okay, Goddard. I'm having an adventure down here. Eventually, I returned empty-handed. Not sure what the point of that was. Maybe it's just some flavor. Having things in the world that aren't just for gameplay. Like this. Ah. Okay, I bet I can get up there somehow, but how? Oh wait. Uh, I don't think he's up there from here. No. There's something behind there's an invention piece on there, in fact. So going up there seems mandatory. Can you jump up there from up top? Maybe. Not seeing any other way of getting up there at the moment. Oh wait. 
There you go. Now, this guy actually got to be useful for once. He actually has an animation for, for shooting. That's nice. Oh, just lost game. That's an alert. It's convenient that these lights don't hurt my eyes. Watch out! The sentry whales teleporter that will. Jet? Jet? I mean, it's not like I really need anything he's told me so far, anyways. I feel like it would be interesting if Jet was a little bit less of a damsel in distress and actually had anything useful to tell you. That's all. Uh, just banging away on that thing. He's having fun. Oh, and you're just sitting down here. That's strange. But I, at no point has he really... I mean, he told me to do the initial s stuff in the plot, I guess, although I had, kind of had to do that anyways. To try to fix my own problems. But I feel like if Jet Fusion just wasn't in the story, it would all be the exact same so far. This is... this is an interesting one. Hmm. Is there a point? I'm doing that right now. The platform doesn't seem to be... risen. I might have to find a switch first. There's a platform down below that nav chip. The presumably I want to swing to from that rope. But it doesn't look like I want to do that just yet. Plus I feel like falling to my death as I do it. And even then I don't know if I would actually reach the ship. There's something oddly satisfying about climbing up and uh, along these these ships. It's not too nerve-wracking because there's actually ground below you. Oh jeez, the birds are nerve-wracking though. Aside from the birds, it's not too nerve-wracking. Because they're stuck below you, and yeah, you'll get hurt if you fall, but you won't die instantly at least. So it's relatively low stakes. Collisions of these birds is a little strange. Like, look at this. <laughs> really? Am I like concerned about them pecking at my hands? Okay, so what I should do is this. Get down here now and then move to the side. I like how the, that one bird fakes you out for a second. Yeah, they, they try to mess with you a little bit, it looks like. You have to cut it close on these, though. Doing your own a real workout, Jimmy. Goddard ski upgrade. Installing. Please hold the line. Music. That'd be a good thumbnail. Upgrading process complete. Great! Now I just have to find somewhere to use it. Like anywhere in this whole ocean. So there's still that nav chip that I'm a little concerned about. This is going to take me somewhere a little different than where I want to be right now, I think. of platforms down there. How do you activate those? I mean, you, there's not necessarily any physical connection between where the platforms are and where the switch for 
activating them is, unfortunately. If I was real brave, I might be able to just... swing the thing off as I fall. Get a better view down here, at least. So you can roughly see... It looks to me like what I want is I want to swing out to that platform, and then I'd come back over here. And come back up the ladder. The question is... How do I get those platforms to appear? I didn't see any switches anywhere. Any levers to pull, any... I don't think I saw any fans to blow. I might have missed one though, because I am not very used to having to look for those. Hmm, I'm just, re uh, I'm just not realizing, I think, that I haven't been on that other side much until I was just over there and then jumped off. Maybe I should be back up there, actually, which would be a bit of a pain. And no, I don't have to do the, the bird segment to get over there, so it's not too bad. Yeah, those, I guess you get to have the satisfaction of doing a bunch of really cool high climbing without actually having as much of the risk. A little bit, enough for it to be exciting, but not losing all your lives. Could be a switch over here too. Is that a door? Hello in here? Looks like it has like a keypad on it. There are lots of little details in this game, it's surprising sometimes. But I don't see anything switchable down here. Over here. It's gonna be anywhere. It might be on this side of the ship. What? Look at that boy! It's a catalytic fusion converter. That could be really useful. It should come off if I just We have seen uh -oh. like a few dozen of this these. This doesn't look good. We'll have to use this water cannon to hold them off. No, you won't. Use the control stick. He seems perfectly fine with your light gun. The primary fire button will oh, fire. fire the water. Oh, it really controls. Well, it's nice that we actually get to use one of these after all this time of seeing people. Um, okay, I think 60 of these guys is a little excessive. I wasn't expecting the birds there. Try Oh. Pick the thing up. Sure. Is there any switch to pull over here, though? Or anything like that? I thought, why are you only just now interested in this one specific one? Couldn't we have at least not have, like the first one we got access there. to? Oops. Looks like we'll have to use the water cannon again. I at least appreciate that they try to. Fit your multiple attempts into the narrative. But man, my legs are a point of sensitivity. That's pretty much going after me, too. Just, I think 60 of these is a little excessive. What? What happened? Use the control. Could we just have not have sixty of these guys? If you're wondering, I'm pressing the fire button a lot more often than than it's shooting. It seems like it only lets you it lets you fire in short bursts, basically. From what I can see. I 
Okay, sometimes it really doesn't feel like fiber. I don't see any indicator how much water I have or anything. I feel like these guys really do just appear. I think they actually just appear behind the barrels. Which is a little annoying. Okay, that's over half of them? This is a little long winded. That one is disconcerting. Some of these are disconcerting close where they appear to me, relatively. Because they're so far out on the field of view, and yet surprisingly close to me. Okay, that was a little tense. Can the birds count as pirates? The purpose of this? Yes. Sure those pirates a thing or two, Goddard. That was stressful. Now we can get that catalytic fusion converter. Oh, a water gun? I got it. I feel like a jet boat or something. Whoa. Your eyes don't. The bubble gum splatter. The primary fire button makes a goo that'll stop moving objects. The secondary fire button will create a protective bubble that will increase my speed. What? I just hope I don't get any in my hair. What sense does that make? We'll see how this works next time. Alright, well.